This is Valley News Live at noon. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Jillian Trudeau. Starting off frosty on this fall equinox, as the season changes, you can definitely feel it in the air. Our first alert storm team is tracking rain heading out way later today. Let's get the latest from meteorologist Lisa Green. Yeah, it's a busy equinox here. This morning we were talking about fog that was thick. That's since cleared out. And of course, these temperatures, a frosty start with numbers that were at or even below freezing. Our lowest number came from around the Kandu area at 28 degrees. Brampton was 29 and the over to the uh, uh, part of the screen here where we're into Minnesota. Roseau got to 32. Grand Forks Air, ba Air Force Base was down to freezing as well. And as far south as an area around Lisbon, we saw freezing temperatures. So it was cold is the bottom line here this morning. And now we're starting to warm up a little bit. You can see some hints of fall. Some of the leaves changing color right there on our Corwin Tower cam here in Fargo and taking a look at your your temperatures. We are looking at some numbers that are going to be in the 50s heading into the afternoon. So warming up, but still feeling cool. You'll probably still want that jacket here this afternoon. A few areas where we've got some clouds developing, so a little more partly cloudy in some areas, but most of us enjoying that blue sky and it's not until later tonight that we see things start to change. So the wind has eased up today too, so that's not been a problem. We'll see winds out of the southeast and again temperatures that don't really move a whole lot but notice around 10 o'clock 8 10 o'clock in Fargo mostly cloudy skies well that's going to be the start of changes after that we'll see our rain move in so more details on the timing of that rain and what to expect for your Friday coming up in just a couple of minutes all right thanks Lisa an update to a story we first told you about yesterday on Valley News live at noon Families and police in 15 different Minnesota schools are trying to find who called in fake active shooter reports yesterday. A lot of people consider it a cruel hoax in an era of deadly school shootings. It's called swatting and it's happening all over the country. Someone calls in fake crimes that call out large police responses. Sometimes that response is shared on social media. People caught in Minnesota could face up to a year in jail and a $3,000 fine. If someone is hurt or killed as a result of it, it turns into a felony with the possibility of 10 years in prison. The swatting calls didn't just hit Minnesota, they also happened in Florida, Texas, and New York. Opioid abuse keeps getting worse all over the country, and there's some new money coming to North Dakota to fight it. The state is getting nearly $5 million to fight opioid addiction. That includes $4 million for the state health department and $700,000 for the Turtle Mountain and Spirit Lake tribes. The money is coming from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection is temporarily expanding operating hours at three ports of entry on the U.S.-Canada border in North Dakota. State officials have been pushing border protection and homeland security to restore pre-pandemic hours of operation since April. The Maida, Northgate and Sherwood ports of entry will be temporarily open for two more hours from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. pending agreement from the Canada Border Services Agency. The change will be evaluated after 120 days. The Federal Reserve raised short-term interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point, and many are wondering how this is going to affect us. The action is designed to fight inflation, but Americans who need to borrow money are seeing loan rates go up. Business analyst Jill Schlesinger explains who this will impact the most. The latest rate move from the Federal Reserve pushes the benchmark short-term lending rate to a range of three to three and a quarter percent. A big jump from February when the rate was zero to a quarter of a percent. And the central bank is not stopping anytime soon. The rate hikes have clear winners and losers. Savers are the big winners as they finally can earn more interest on checking, savings, CDs, money market accounts and government bonds. Conversely, borrowers are the losers of the Fed's action. The average credit card interest rate is more than 18%. That's up from 16.3% in January. The average 48-month loan rate for a used car was around 4.5% at the beginning of the year. Now it's more than 5.5%. And even though the Fed does not directly control longer-term mortgage rates, 
those rates have jumped to over 6%, double what they were a year ago. To put that into perspective, last year a 30-year fixed rate loan for $300,000 would have a monthly payment of $1,242 in principal and interest. With the current rate, that monthly payment jumps to more than $1,800. The Fed is likely to keep pushing up rates, which will continue to make borrowing money more expensive. In New York, I'm CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. In our schemes and ripoffs, a grandparent couple is out $18,000 following a scam. Moorhead police say earlier this month, a woman called the couple posing as their granddaughter, saying she was in a car crash with another woman and a baby. Police say the scammer told the couple she needed $18,000 for bail. Someone posing as a lawyer then called the couple and arranged to get the money. Police say a thin black man then showed up in a tan car, got the cash and left. You're reminded to never give out information or money over the phone. We'll grab some lunch today while also helping out the community. The Gobble It Up for United Way fundraiser is happening right now until one at every Hornbacher's location. People are invited to donate a suggested $5 for a takeout lunch of a hot turkey sandwich, chips, ice cream, and a beverage. Money raised goes to the United Way to give back to the community. Well, coming up at noon, the tough economic times are putting parents on the front line and supporting their adult children. But next, whether to plan your day.